The wildflower bloom is not the only amazing thing that you're going to see today. Be prepared. So I'm into October and I've changed some older queens for 23s. Like looking in the mirror. So I came across a hive that had a 21 queen. I wanted to change her out before spring breaks and then all of a sudden her big hive can't be sustained because she finally got old through the winter. This is the hive. And this was a few weeks ago. Probably three weeks ago. And what I did was, I was shocked. What shocked me was, not only did I find a queen that was laying, which was expected, but I found two queens. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. What I did was, I cage both queens because one was definitely old one had no wings the other one had wings and all parts intact I thought wow this is different but you know maybe she just didn't get around to killing the old one there's definitely plenty of eggs lots of stuff going on but I thought no nope, I'm still taking her because I don't know now the age for sure I put them in this nuke and it took a little bit for me to think about like, well, what am I going to do? Should I release them both? But I thought, yeah, I'm going to release them both because I, I don't know any better. And if the, she wants to kill one, I'd rather that even if she has no wings, the stronger girl, whoever the stronger queen is, let them live. And I don't know which one that is. I can assume by the wings, but I can't always say. So here's the nuke. I'm going to pull a frame. Okay, so I'm going to pull a frame. And this is where, well, when I opened it and had the camera going, didn't have a camera. So. so, this frame has an intact queen. I went ahead and marked her a bright teal and the, it's kind of faded already, but that's her. That's the intact queen. She has every, all legs. She's not a gimp. She's laying up a storm, or I think she's the one laying up a storm, and there's nothing wrong with her. They tend to be just fine. They've been in the, here in the nuke a week, like they said, about three weeks. So today I went in, three weeks later, I had put in the queens, put them both in, and I wanted to see, are they still living together? And yes, they are. See if I can get her good. Come on. This queen has no wings. She has all use of all legs. And on this frame.
there's maybe one or two eggs. So I'm assuming this is her frame. Where are you gonna go? That this is her frame. She's off to the side. But this other new queen has yet to duel it out and take her out. So I don't know what the pheromone is. That's my vaporizer turning off. I don't know what the pheromone is or what's going on. But I figure it's kind of up to the other queen to go ahead and take her out. And I'm going to leave them and see what happens. She doesn't have a retinue. You can see that. She's got a few workers that will take care of her and clean her up. and But not a strong retinue. It's a pretty nice frame, but she's really only got like a couple of eggs. This is definitely the other queen, I would have to say definitely. All the bees are around her. Ah, darn it. I squish you. Come on. Got stung. Not paying attention. Where are you? Okay, so there she is. She moves around. Right now you can't see her retinue. But between the two, the nuke is doing fine. I don't know if it's mother, daughter, I don't know anything. But I thought it was very cool. Two queens, one hive. I do believe the other one's old, not laying, and this is the laying queen. Now you can see the girls are surrounding her once she slows down. She's the stronger of the two. But why she hasn't killed her, I think she's not under threat. And so has left her. another frame of brood that the other one's got or whoever's laid it so in the original hive which is right next door God, it hurt. they were both within a frame of each other and in here she's a frame away I don't know I think it's very cool I can't tell who's who and she seems to be okay with her and the one thing I can say is that if you look at how uh, I think it's in China they raise uh, ro they produce royal jelly and to do so they do it with multi queened hives and that what they do is they go in and they clip a mandible and the same age Queens clip a mandible put a hive together and then release all these Queens in there and then start using them to produce uh, crazy amounts of bees for their royal jelly operation. She has no wings. Perhaps she's got a mandible missing or damaged and she's no threat. So the other one just let her go. And that's the end of that. Who am I to say they're wrong? I let them go together and we'll see in the spring if they make it. Thought that was a cool thing to show you. Till next time, peace out, bruh.